Well, with the winter we have had so far, many of us dreaming of summer already. And if you're planning on a getaway, you might be looking into Airbnb or something similar. Quite popular of late. In this week's Know the Law segment with attorney Tom Sinus, Tom tells us what you need to know about those short-term rentals. There are some legalese that we need to know about. There are. And it, as you mentioned, Airbnb, VRBO, yeah. there's all sorts of different ways to rent it's houses fun. It for is vacation. Fun. Sure. And it's a, it can be a great thing, and, and it shouldn't stand in the way of having a great time this summer. But a couple things to know. So can cities ban short-term rentals? And the short answer is yes. A city can issue an ordinance either banning short-term rentals okay. or limiting them in some way. Interesting. The Michigan Court of Appeals actually decided a case in late last year that upheld the ban of a city on short-term rentals. Now, of course, if the city doesn't have a ban or doesn't have any regulations, then, then the city itself is not preventing it from happening. Okay. But some people wonder, well, can the city really do that? Or is right. that sort of a deprivation of my right to property? The basic rule here, the way the courts have gone, is that cities can have these bans. Uh, there are some cities up north that have either bans or limits on how people can rent out their homes on a short-term basis. What about the legislature? Well, interestingly, the legislature over the last few years, you and I have talked about this funny phrase I call a ban on yes, bans. Yes, right. And the legislature has been considering passing laws that would prevent cities from banning short-term rentals. So they'd ban the banning of bans almost. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> now, right now, as we talk today, that hasn't passed. But if it does, it'll change this legal landscape. What about Grand Rapids? Yeah. Well, a few years ago, Grand Rapids passed an ordinance dealing with short-term rentals in the city. And okay. this ordinance is still on the books. And it is very restrictive as to when people can rent their houses out on short-term rental basis on sites like VRBO. You have to have a license. You can only rent one room. You have to live in the home. You have to own the home. And there's only supposed to be about 200 of these licenses given out every year. Now, if you go on Airbnb and you look at the number of places for rent, yeah. you might find more than 200. Sure. So there, I, I, some of them not. There might rules. be some people doing it without a license, but the rule in Grand Rapids is you have to follow this okay. ordinance if you're going to rent. If you're going to go down these roads, the other thing you have to consider is the issue of insurance, because insurance companies are only going to insure that which you sure. tell them about. If you don't tell them that you are taking your cabin or your home and renting it, right. there may be an exclusion in that policy that prevents you from obtaining coverage if something happens. Right. Now, some of these vendors like Airbnb offer their own insurance, but the basic takeaway here, as we always talk about, is if you're going to go down this road, make sure it's legal, make sure it's insured. Sounds good to me. Good idea for sure, Tom. Where do people find you if they, they want to look into this? They can find us uh, anywhere online at www.sinusdramus.com or give us a call in West Michigan at 616-301-3333 or shoot us an email at info at right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Derek.